Hi everyone, it's Siv. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I made for a Christmas swap. Hi Tara. So I am um, swapping with Tara, Tara Finch, and I will link her YouTube on in the description box below. I've been loving the Doodlebug Milk and Cookies collection. So I went ahead and... Um, purchase this 12 by 12 paper pack along with the 6 by 6 um, paper pad, the milk and cookies. I also have the ephemera, the 72 piece ephemera um, kit, which I use to make my pocket letter. I also used um, some of this paper that kind of matched the Doodlebug collection. This is from Recollections. Um, and I pr also purchased some of the shape sprinkles in the sugar plum and milk and cookies collection uh, as well. So this is what I came up with. I haven't done a pocket letter in so long, but I love pocket letters. That's my first passion when I first started crafting. So um, let me show you what I made. Sorry about the glare, the lighting is not too great um, here in my craft room, so um, I'm trying to use some natural lighting and I do notice that the sun is filtering through. So um, this is the first pocket. Uh, usually my first pocket is a hello pocket and I used one of the ephemera from the kit, the milk and cookies kit, and I added some um, stickles to a little bit of the um, the sprinkles on the top of the cake, of the bundt cake. And uh, this is a little sentiment, hello sugar. I added some heart buttons and I backed it up with one of the um, uh, doodle bug papers. So that's what I did for the first pocket. And for the second pocket, all, this is also a little um, ephemera. I used some of my black enamel uh, dots to pop up their eyes so I applied a little bit of that and um, I used a lot of jaded blossom dyes so let me see I used the baking dyes and I really love it because of the little stitch um, there's I use the little spoon the spatula as well as the whisk and I cut it out with um, some foil. And so I added it here. I also used this uh, bow die from also from Jaded Blossom. And it's this one right here. And I added it using the paper. And I have um, some Nuvo drops, but I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly because it kind of comes up as little splot it dries up as little splotches instead of neat little circles so I'm not sure if I'm using it correctly but I thought this is a, a cute little pocket for her this one is a one of the cut aparts and um, this one is also a jaded blossom postage dies they just came out with it during Black Friday and I had hauled a whole bunch of these dies so really cute so I made a little pocket here and I um, used that postage uh, die at, on this pocket. And then on this pocket, um, Mrs. Claus is holding hands with a little gingerbread man and it says we belong together. And um, this is also backed up with some of the fun doodle bug paper. So this little pocket in the middle, I created a little shaker and I filled it up with a whole bunch of little wreath confettis. Not wreath confettis, a little holly confettis. And I added uh, this acetate window that also came in the ephemera pack. Um, this is a Mr. Santa Claus and also holding a little gingerbread. I had to create this one, I uh, had to create some lashes on this one because I accidentally added a little bit too much of the black enamel dot. 
And for the beard, I decided to try my hand at this snow marker that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And um, a whole bunch of it came out when I initially put it on. Uh, it puffed up. And the directions say to um, allow the the liquid to dry a little bit but I noticed that if I let it dry too much then it wouldn't puff up so there was a lot of uh, liquid that um, I applied on the beard so that's what it looks like I thought it came out really cute and on this pocket I added another ephemera kit uh, from the kit um, backed up Everyone is backed up with doodle bug paper, and these are some of the little sugar plum candies, the sprinkles. This one, I cut out the fireplace. I backed it up with the fireplace paper, and I cut up a seam and added the stockings and stickled it up um, in this pocket. And then in this pocket, um, I used the acetate milk, the little... Um, chocolate chip cookie dunking uh, about to be dunked in and a little milk carton and it says you're one smart cookie so that's how my front pocket letter turned out I hope I hope she likes it I had a lot of fun making uh, this pocket letter um, this is also a, a washi tape from Michaels as well as this one and on the back, I wrote her a little letter. This is my little um, letter to her. And I die cut a whole bunch of this, um, the baking dies for her, as well as um, these are little sh uh, candy canes from uh, Jaded Blossom, the Christmas dies that she can use in her projects. And I added a couple in here. And these are some of the stockings also from this Christmas dies. I didn't have a chance to um, cut out the, the small little uh, the felt that you, you would put onto the stocking. I thought this was a really cute stitched stocking anyhow. So she can use it however she likes. And then um, these are the little sugar plum sprinkles, the, can uh, the stickers. That I added here and here and um, and this is the, the mistletoe um, or the holly berries that I cut up for her in this pocket that she can paper piece together so that's how this one came out oh and she um, had when she had sent me some Halloween happy mail in October, um, she had sent me a little a tassel, um, a ribbon tassel. I thought it was adorable, so I made my own little ribbon tassel for her using some of the, the ribbon trim that I picked up at Michael's. And here's some faux fur, as well as some ornaments, ornament charms that I added to this. So that's um, the pocket letter. And in addition, I made her a little card. I didn't write in it because I thought maybe she might like to reuse it or um, or give it to somebody. So this is a little card scene that um, I created using the postage uh, die and um, added a little sentiment. We wish you a Merry Christmas. There's Santa coming out of the chimney and he's grabbing onto the little chocolate chip cookie. Milk and Cookies, that's the name of the collection from Doodlebug. I love it. And on the back, I added um, the little kitty as well as a little heart ephemera piece from the collection. And I stamped Keep Christmas in Your Heart All Year. And so that's for her. And this is, um, I didn't have a chance to color much. But I had picked this up at my local scrapbooking store, Scrapbooking Made Simple in Santa Clarita. And this is the Stamping Bella. And I really love the image. But I in, um, decided to 
use my Versamark ink and emboss it, the gold emboss it, and just add it to the envelope for her. And this is a swap with Tara. And um, this is a little postage from the postage dies. And the stamp was a freebie that came with the postage die. And I don't, I don't see that stamp here, but you can check out the Jaded Blossom um, website for that one. So I made that little card. And this is also from the Jaded Blossom. Um, these, this is my favorite Rick Rack Topper die. And um, I love it. I make a lot of treats with it. I've made a lot of treats with it. Um, birthday treats and little Halloween treats with this Rick Rack Topper die. So I used some of the papers from the collection and I wanted to share some of these Noel table scatters as well as uh, the stamp. Um, sending you a great big hug and I got this at Tuesday morning. Mm, so I thought that was really cute. A cute way of, sh um, uh, get sh you know, kind of sharing some goodies. And then I made some extra for her so that she can um, make her own little goodie bags. So using the paper collection, you take the cake out of this little scene, as well as December 25th. I made her a uh, rosette wand. And this is from the paper collection. Uh, this is two and a half inch rosette. And uh, this is also from the paper collection, the little stickers, the gingerbread men. This is some um, trim from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then this is a couple of um, a couple of snowflakes that I cut out from the Dollar Tree and it's backed up behind the crochet um, piece. And so um, I added this crochet piece and then I added the sticker collection, Marianne Bright. Um, also made her using the lollipop die. This is the lollipop die. And I made her um, a little treat. This is a Cease Candy uh, with part of the collection. And lastly, um, I used the tag. Let's see, I think this is called the Treat Tag die from Jaded Blossom. And um, this is a Christmas kindness sentiment. It says, you've been socked. I wanted to send her some fuzzy socks. It's time to spread some holiday cheer because Christmas time is oh so near. Open this sock and enjoy your treat because you are super sweet. So I packaged it up along with uh, some Kleenex. And um, lastly, um, this is a little a bling stocking from, uh, from Tuesday morning. And I added a, a lots of washi tape. So head on over to her channel uh, so you can check out her project. She does really cute project shares. And so I'm in this Christmas swap with her. And I hope she liked everything that I created for her. I'm looking forward um, to getting to know you, Tara, and um, sharing all of these wonderful things with you. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.